Oh! Oh! oh. She... Are you fucking kidding me? It's a goddamn clusterfuck! Anyway, let's um, move on. Let's talk about something else before we talk about Green Book uh, winning Best Picture. Let's talk about some more positive stuff first. Uh, what good things happened? Uh, Spider-Verse. Spider-Verse won. That was good. Uh, Regina King uh, won. That was good. Mahershala Ali won um, his second Oscar. Um, which, which, you know, it's a, it's a well-deserved Oscar. His performance in Green Book was very good. Um, like many, I did much prefer if Richard E. Grant had won. Um, Rami Malek won, um, I would much prefer that Bradley Cooper had won, but I think he basically won the night by eye-fucking Lady Gaga like that. Um, I've already seen the memes. Um, it's pretty good. It's, <laughs> it's pretty funny, some of the memes I've seen. Um, but no, uh, Rami Malek's speech was nice. Um, it was a lot less cold than, than the usual speeches that he, he, he gives at some of the other awards. Um, but the big surprise, of course, in terms of acting, was Olivia Colman. Um, and I think, you know, she was surprised, and I think that even she wanted Glenn Close to win. Uh, I personally wanted Glenn Close to win, I think that her performance in The Wife was the best out of the lot. Um, but I am very happy for Olivia Colman, it's a very well-deserved Oscar. Uh, her performance in The Favourite was pretty outstanding, and, and I loved her speech. It was probably the best speech out of all the actors, um, and, and it was the most genuine speech. And, and one of the things that I really appreciated this year was that a lot of the speeches, especially the actors' speeches, weren't about sort of me too or time's up or like you know any of that um it was just personal and thanking people who were important to them thanking the artists who inspired them and, and i really appreciated that you know every time alfonso Cuaron came up he would just literally be referencing you know dropping names of all these different filmmakers and, and it was nice to see that and that was nice it was a nice refreshing change of pace for once as opposed to everyone saying racism bad sexism bad you know stuff like that um, but of course we, we do get that in just a bit. Um, what else is there to talk about? Um, First Man beat uh, Infinity War and Ready Player One for Best Visual Effects, which was a bit strange. Uh, Bohemian Rhapsody won the both sound awards, which I, I do understand. I mean, it, it's I, it's well done. I, I get that. But editing? Really? Really? I mean, the the editor of Bohemian Rhapsody seemed like a nice guy. And and the, the speech again felt kind of genuine, but I mean, come on, really? Yeah, whatever. I'm 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 not the only one who's complained about it, and, and there are going to be more people to come to complain about it. And it's not even the worst thing that happened that night. You know what? I'll just let everyone else rant about it, and then I'll try and keep it positive. Um, Roma won best cinematography, won best foreign film, won best director. Um, I, I think, you know, Alfonso Cuaron at this point, he should just take a break, just hibernate for like six years you know, do what, you know, Inuritu or Lubezki is doing, just leave the industry for a while, let other people win and then come back and win everything in a couple of years time. Um, so yeah, I think, you know, obviously it's very well deserved. Um, but again, we'll, bet, we'll get into best picture in just a bit. The three wins that Roma's got, very well deserved. Um, Bohemian Rhapsody went away with the most wins. It has more wins than The Godfather, um, which is a little bit ridiculous. It kind of breaks my heart, it really does. Um, but I, I know some people liked it. I know so, it, it has mass appeal and some people really enjoyed Bohemian Rhapsody. And I get that, but I mean, just when you compare it to something like Roma or Star is Born or Black Klansman or, or, or The Favourite, it really, there really is no comparison um, in terms of the quality of the film. Uh, and, and you know, the, the performance is great. I, I did like Rami Malek, just not nearly as much as uh, Bradley Cooper. Um, what else is there to talk about? Uh, screenplay. Spike Lee having one of the more iconic moments of the night, just jumping around the stage and on top of Sam Jackson. That was nice. Uh, and obviously it's very well deserved. I mean, he has been making, you know, like him or not, you know, he has been making great films in Hollywood for a while now, um, for a very long time. And, and it's his first time he's been nominated. And I think it, it was suitable and it was appropriate for him to go home with at least one Oscar. Um, and Green Book won Best uh, Original Screenplay. Uh, why? Just why? It just, uh. And, 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 yeah, what else is there to talk about? Black Panther won Costume Design, Production Design. Oh, let's talk about the, the speech for Makeup and Hairstyling. What was that all about? It was a complete shitstorm. And, and the Black Panther speeches were nice. Uh, 
And, and yeah, what else is there to talk about? Oh wait, Green Book won Best Picture. I really just cannot put my disappointment into words. I mean, first of all, I do want to establish this and make it as clear as day that I have nothing against Green Book. I have nothing against the people who made the film. And I actually liked the film. I gave it a positive review on Letterboxd. I gave it three and a half stars. I said that Mahershala Ali and, and, and Viggo Mortensen were both fantastic, that it's competently directed. The scripting of the dialogue is fine. Uh, but when you think about Green Book, I mean, just look, okay, when you compare Green Book to another Best Picture winner that stars Viggo Mortensen, Return of the King, there is absolutely no comparison. Green Book, in my opinion, it, it just does not compare to the likes of The Departed or No Country for Old Men or The Godfather or American Beauty or any of these films. And to, to sum up Green Book really briefly and, and in the best way possible, it's literally racism bad the movie. And yet it doesn't explore these heavy themes with genuine complexity and genuine attention. It, it's a feel-good film, as I've said many times. It's a film that doesn't want to upset anyone. It's a film that wants to please everyone. It's not a bold statement. That's probably why it won, because a lot of people just thought, oh, Green Book's fine, I'll vote for that. And it's that whole preferential vote thing. Um, and I just, I, I honestly feel that Green Book might just be my new least favorite Best Picture winner. I haven't seen Crash, um, which, which I know a lot of people hate, but um, I think that it used to be Spotlight, uh, because Spotlight beat Mad Max and The Revenant, but I think Green Book, has just might become my my new least favorite best picture winner. I just the the night was actually going quite well, wasn't it? Like it was actually a pretty decent night for the Oscars. There was no host. Everything was done very efficiently. You know, you had Amy Poehler, Tina Fey, and Maya Rudolph at the beginning, who were actually half decent. Some nice presenters, and it, they just ended it with a, with Green Book. I mean, why? Again, I know it's a it's a film that was made with good intentions, and but it just didn't. It's not a cinematic film, it's not like, you know, because the Oscars at the end of the day used to be about celebrating cinema, celebrating films and craft, not politics, not politically correct films. And and that is, is, is kind of the direction I feel like they're going in. And I, I do feel very, very upset. I'm just, I'm really tired. I, not only am I tired from getting only two hours sleep because I stayed up to watch last night from one to four, but... I am genuinely just tired of the way that the Academy are appreciating the films um, that, that come out each year. Because if, if it had been up to us, you know, the fans, and, and we're being realistic about it, you know, we're not going to put Ant-Man and the Wasp or Rampage up there. We would want to put blockbusters that are really good, like Mission Impossible or Avengers Infinity War. We would want Tony Collette to win. We would want Viola Davis to see some love, Steve McQueen to see some love, right? Some people loved Eighth Grade, Blind Spotting. I, I, I found these films to be slightly overrated. I liked them, I didn't love them, you know, but, you know, like Suspiria, you know? Suspiria could have easily won Best Makeup. Um, and, and Tilda Swinton could have won Best Supporting Actress. Um, but because they're, they're, they're not mainstream enough and they're not politically correct enough and they're not important enough, that they don't get the recognition that they deserve and that really breaks my heart um so i'm just going to leave it there um, i thought it was a decent night that was kind of ruined by a slightly bad ending for me personally i know a lot of people like green book but most people don't um and yeah i'll leave it there so thank you very very much guys for watching um i'll be putting out a video in the next couple of days talking just a quick recap of some of the films that I've seen recently that I would rather do in one video and not like a whole bunch of separate reviews. So anyway, stay tuned for that guys. Thank you very, very much for watching as always. Thank you.